This last you have got one problem. The data are same as in the first problem. Generator 1 is star connector, neutral is grounded. Generator 2 is star connector, neutral is grounded through a reactance 0.06 per unit. Base MEA is equal to 100. Case 1, if a single line to ground fault occurs at bus 1, calculate the fault current and fault MEA. That is the question. First step, we have to draw the positive sequence network, negative sequence network, zero sequence network. This is the positive sequence network. If a fault occurs at bus 1, this is J.15. This value J.09 plus J.1 plus J.09 plus J.15. That is equal to J.43. This is the reference bus. These two are connected in parallel. The equivalent tolerance reactance is J.11. Pre-fault voltage is 1 and 0. If you remove the sources, we got a negative sequence network. The equivalent tolerance reactance is J.11. The third is a zero sequence network. This is J fault occur at bus 1. This is J.05. And all the reactance value here, the value is given. 0.06 into 3 that is j.18 therefore j.09 plus j.3 plus j.09 plus j.05 plus j.18 that is equal to j.71 again these two are connected in parallel the equivalent tolerance reactance is j.05 positive sequence reactance is j.11 negative sequence reactance is j.11 zero sequence reactance is j.05 now I can easily calculate the fault current IF. IF is equal to 3 into pre-fault voltage 1 and 0 divided by J.11 plus J.11 plus J.05 that is equal to minus J11.11 .11 per unit. Actual fault current is 11.11 .11 into base current. Here the voltage is 11 kV. 100 into 10 power 3 divided by root 3 into 11. 5248.64 amps. 11.11 .11 into 5248.64. Actual fault current is 58.31 kilo amps. Fault MBA is equal to root 3 into base voltage 11 into 58.31. That is equal to 1122.06. Neutral current is IR plus IY plus IB. IY is equal to 0. IB is equal to 0. Neutral current is 58.31 kilo amps. Case 2 single line to ground fault at bus 2. The voltage is 220 kV. Base current is equal to 100 into 10 power 3 divided by root 3 into 220. That is equal to 262.43 amps. If a fault occurs at this point, this reactance is J.15 plus J.09. That is equal to J.24. This said reactance J.1 plus J.09 plus J.15. That is equal to J.34. The positive sequence equivalent tolerance reactance is J.14. Pre fault voltage is 1 and 0. And in the case of negative sequence network, remove the sources, we got a negative sequence network. The equivalent tolerance rea uh, reactance is J.14. When in the case of zero sequence reactance, this side is J.05 plus J.09, that is equal to J.14. And J.3 plus J.09 plus J.05 plus J.19, that is equal to J.62. The zero sequence equivalent tolerance reactance is J.11. So X1 is equal to J.14, X2 is equal to J.14, X3 is equal to J.11. Fault current is 3 into ER divided by X1 plus X2 plus X0. So fault current is minus J7.69 per unit. Actual fault current is per unit fault current into base current 7.69 7 into 262.43. That is equal to 2.02 kilo amps. Fault MBA is equal to root 3 into 220 into 2.02. Fault MBA is 769.72 and neutral current is IY is equal to 0, IB is equal to 0, IR is equal to 2.02 kilo amps. Case 3, single line to ground fault at bus 3. So this side uh, total reactance is J.34, this side total reactance is J.24. These two are connected in parallel, therefore X1 value is J.14, X2 value is also J.14. The zero sequence reactance is this is J.05 plus J.09 plus J.3 that is equal to J.44. J.09 plus J.05 plus J.19 that is equal to J.32. Again, this two are connected in parallel. The zero sequence reactance is J.19. 
So positive sequence reactants, negative sequence reactants, zero sequence reactants. We know we can easily calculate the fault current. Base current is this uh, fault at bus three. The voltage is two twenty kV. Hundred into ten power three divided by root three into two twenty. That is equal to two sixty two point four three amps. Now fault current is three into E R divided by X one plus X two plus X naught. So I F is equal to minus J seven point three two per unit. Actual fault current is seven point three two into base current two sixty two point four three. That is equal to one point eight ten kilo amps. Fault M B I is equal to root three into two twenty into one point eight ten. That is equal to seven twenty point one nine. Neutral current is I R is equal to one point eight ten k kilo amps. I Y is zero. I B is equal to zero. Case four. Single line to ground fault at bus four. Here the voltage is eleven kV. Base current is five thousand two forty eight point six four amps. A fault at bus four. This side reactance is J point one five plus J point not nine plus J point one plus J point not nine. That is equal to J point four three. This side reactance is J point one five. These two are connected in parallel. The third and sequence reactance is J point one one. Pre-fault voltage is one nine zero. The negative sequence reactance is J point one one. The zero sequence reactance is J point not five plus J point not nine plus J point three plus J point not nine. That is equal to J point five three. This side is J point five three. This side is J point not five plus J point one nine. That is equal to J point two three. The equivalent zero sequence reactance is J point one six. X one is equal to J point one one. X two is equal to J point one one. X naught is equal to J point one six. Fault current is equal to minus J seven point eight nine per unit. Actual fault current is seven point nine eight eight to five thousand two forty eight point six four forty one point four one kilo amps. Fault M B A is equal to root three into eleven into forty one point four one. That is equal to seven eight eight point nine seven. Neutral current is I R plus I Y plus I B. I Y is equal to zero. I B is equal to zero. Neutral current is forty one point four one kilo amps. If a fault occurs at bus four. So in the problem, then I have to inference obtain. Man, bro. In here we are connecting a reactant section. So naturally, the current reduces at forty one point four one kilo amps. Fault M B A seven eighty eight point nine seven. This is simply a ground and neutral. There is no reactants between the neutral and earth. In the condition, the fault current is fifty-eight point three one kilo amps. Fault M B A thousand one hundred twenty-two point nine six. There is no reactants. The current is very high. Fault M B A is also very high. When we add reactants, current is reduced. Fault M B A is also reduced. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.